All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, in this episode here, uh, in this dry fire laser training with my uh, Taurus TH9C Compact. Taurus TH9C Compact. Let's check it. It is empty, and the laser, the G Sight laser cartridge is in here. And so uh, it's safe. Holstering it right now. Okay. And so uh, what what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you uh, one of the reasons why I'm really liking this gun and why I am seriously considering this to be my my carry gun now. It's compact but not very small. I've been wearing it now for two weeks, almost two weeks straight. A little bit more than that if it I started carrying it a little bit in December, November, December. So um, maybe maybe three weeks, three and a half weeks straight. And that inclu includes sleeping with it and everything. So I just wanted to get a feel of how it is. Now I've been carrying it in condition, typically condition three, which is uh, loaded magazine, none in the chamber. I've been keeping the laser cartridge I've been keeping the laser cartridge in here because I've been training with it and I've been keeping it locked or decocked and locked and that's how I've just been carrying it. I'm not, you know, really, uh, I haven't decided whether I'm going to make this my, my carry gun yet, but I'm testing it out and I'm, I'm very close to considering making this my carry gun. And I'm going to show you one of the reasons why, uh, first of all, it's a little bit smaller, it's a little bit lighter, a little bit easier to carry, um, easier to sleep with too. I, I've been, believe it or not, I've been sleeping with my gun here, and so it, it works. Um, but most importantly, what I like about this gun, now that I've been shooting, wow, a lot, I've probably shot, I don't know, the laser. The laser hit is almost to 10,000 hits. So I, I pulled, not this trigger, but I pulled the trigger of this Taurus TH9, not this one, but I have the other one going for service because of the spring, the broken trigger spring. Um, but I've, I've noticed something simple with this gun is that it's easy to point and shoot. And so in this episode, I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to point and shoot, all right? Uh, left hand or, or, I'm sorry, right hand or left hand, okay? Now I'm seven to 10 feet. Now I know you could probably shoot a, shoot, it's like shooting fish in a barrel, but probably most likely your encounters will be in this range, maybe, maybe, okay? So, this distance, all right, uh, you may not have time to aim. As a matter of fact, it, it'll take longer for you to get a sight on your target and aim. So most likely you're just going to point and shoot. But it's really easy because I've tried a Glock. I've tried a Glock. And the Glock handle, it's a little bit more angled. So the Glock handle is a little bit more angled, and so you're holding the gun like this. If you, if you, the, if you the way you point, you point like this, and if you notice, your hand right here is kind of at an angle, and so this perfectly fits that. And literally, you're you're just, I mean, it's really, you're just pointing, and that's what it feels like with the Taurus TH9C. I do have a Glock. I like my Glock. I think Glocks are really great. I bought. I have two, maybe even three. <laughs> I'm not sure. I gotta go do my. I gotta check on my gun. I gotta do a gun inventory. But because of the angle, it's like shooting like this. And when you point and shoot, you either point downwards, or you point up too high because the 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 grip is kind of like this. And so you you want to do this, you know, it, and then you point up. So you know, it's kind of it's kind of different. What I noticed with the TH9C, 
is that uh, it's very natural and the pointing and shooting. So let me demonstrate that for you. Okay. So I got my, I have the uh, the uh, laser hit here. I've already been shooting. Let me just push and restart it. There we go. Okay. It, it only goes for 60 seconds. But let me show you. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna do anything. There's not, it's not timed or anything, but uh, let's just shoot around. All right, I'm just not, I'm not even aiming. Okay, so. Okay, let's switch hands. Now, I may be a little sloppy. My trigger pull's not that great. I'll try to go all corners. 0, 0 0.0 seconds. All right, so there, there you see, you know, I, I didn't, I wasn't perfect, but I did stay pretty much within the circles. All right, and uh, just to give you an idea of the size, okay, if you're wondering, here is, here's the TH9C. There it is. And here's my, my hand. So it, it, it is pretty big, but my point is it's it's about the size of maybe an upper torso. I mean, you hit you hit those circles, you hit a target within that, you pretty much hit like perhaps a torso, upper torso. All right. So um, let me uh, try one more time. I may have to adjust the camera again. Okay, there it is. Sorry, I kicked the camera a little bit. All right. So let's just let's just go in the corners. I'm gonna switch hands and just just be random about it, you know, no no I'm not going to be perfect, but, you know, my right hand is a lot better than my left hand. Zero point zero seconds. So that's why I like the Taurus TH9C. It is so easy to point and shoot. And if you wanted to, you, you probably could aim. You probably could aim. Let me, I'm going to shoot at that middle target. And let's just have some fun. I got 60 seconds. I mean, you could, you could definitely aim. So aiming is not a problem. Once you get a sight picture, it lines up. But my point is you're not going to maybe probably not going to have the time to do that. So your instinctive nature to point at something as a human being is incredible. Zero point zero seconds. So that's how easy it is to really shoot. Um, pulling the trigger, 
uh, I've, I've shot it over probably 10,000. I pulled this trigger probably over 10,000 times. Or I pulled, I've been pulling a trigger, all right, since I got the laser hit app, probably 10,000 times. <laughs> I've broken the spring on my other TH9 compact. I have it sent into Taurus. I'm pretty sure they're going to be working on it. Hopefully I'll get that gun back. But I like this gun so much that I bought another one, the same one, at a higher price. Now I think if you go through like a website and you order online, you can probably get it cheaper, but I kind of wanted one in stock because I don't want to be without this gun because that's how much I like it. That's really how much I like it. So let's do it again. One, one last time, last time, okay. Last time, I swear. Left hand, start off left-handed. Moving around randomly just to, because you can you can probably follow the laser, but what I'm, my point is, okay, I'll stop a little bit and I'll point and shoot, so I'm not following the laser. You know, I'll, I'll even take my time here and move the gun around a little bit, just to you know, kind of show you that. So. 0.0 seconds. You could literally have two guns and it's it'll be so easy to point and shoot. Matter of fact, when I get my other TH9, I might even buy a second laser cartridge and practice with two hands because I believe that's how easy it is to point and shoot with the Taurus TH9C. Okay. And again, I like the hammer because or the double strike. I think the they have a Taurus G2C, that's double strike. Uh, I, I didn't like it. It was smaller than this. This is perfect for me. And uh, could you imagine? You could actually have two guns. You may not even have to aim. I mean, you could be within a relatively, you know, for a longer distance, yes. You know, I would say, you know, <laughs> use the sights. But in a room, you can literally, like in this whole room here, all you have to do is point and shoot. So anyways, that's it for this episode. I just wanted to show what I've learned uh, dry firing using the laser cartridge, the G, the G sight laser cartridge right here. What I've learned from using it, dry fire training, practicing, um, especially with the Taurus TH9C, the limitations on this. The weak, the weak point is the trigger spring in here that's that is the weak point uh, but it takes it takes a lot of trigger pulls to break that trigger spring and uh, I'm doing it to understand the limits and the abilities of the gun and the laser cartridge uh, laser cartridge is holding up great I haven't even changed the batteries I put it into my Glock I put it into this um, I also have a um, an AR9 it's a nine millimeter uh, carbine that's an AR style that takes Glock magazines. Uh, I might even do that. Now, I don't really like using that or even a Glock because you have to rack it, shoot, rack it, and shoot. That's why I like this gun. You just, you just, you just pull the trigger. Now, I know there's no recoil to this. Okay, I know that. But if you consider the fact that your first shot, the recoil doesn't matter. Okay, the, the recoil only matters the follow-up shots. So the person who gets the first shot and hits the target is going to most likely survive. So remember that. So the first shot, the recoil doesn't matter. So first shot to get it off. I'm not even aiming, so so 
how important is this gun to me now that I'm learning more about how I shoot with it? It's become really important. I really like using this gun and it's easy to point and shoot. Anyways, that's my video for today, my shoot, shooting video, my dry fire training video. If you have any comments or if you want to like, dislike, or even do a video response, uh, go ahead. Please subscribe. I'll have a lot more videos. And uh, thumbs up, everyone. Bye.